Welcome to the SAS Department of Psychology. Ms. Crystal Whitehood and I handle advising for psychology majors and minors. This set of slides provides a very brief overview of the program and also of the field of psychology in general. We also have a much more detailed description of the program and the field in another set of slides, which is also posted at our website, which is psych.rutgers.edu. Let's begin with the question of what comes to your mind when you hear the word psychology? Well, a lot of things for all of us. Some of us think of therapists and counselors. Others may think of psychology really as a bag of tricks people use to try and influence one another. And still others might think of psychology as a study of the mind and how it relates to the operation of the brain. The point is that psychology today is a diverse and broad discipline and is concerned with all of these questions. In addition to being interesting in its own right, psychology overlaps with many other fields of study. This makes psychology relevant to many careers. Historically, psychology emerged from questions that were raised by philosophers about the nature of the mind and by physiologists who studied the workings of the nervous system. As such, topics psychologists study overlap with these found in many of the humanities and natural sciences. Furthermore, psychology has been applied to issues studied in all the social sciences, and of course, as well as the health professions. If you are interested in a career in psychology, this pie chart shows you roughly where you are likely to be working. Psychologists can be found in a wide range of settings, but the majority cluster in healthcare and educational organizations. Other areas include business, consulting, and private practice. Many of our majors continue to careers in psychology, However, others use a psychology major as a base for a career in a related field, such as medicine, law, and business. Still others go directly into the workplace. This slide was compiled by the Rutgers Career Services and lists some of the places where psych majors are employed immediately after graduation. Note that while those with a BA in psychology can work in mental health areas, they are not qualified by law to engage in independent practice. For that, students must obtain a graduate degree and licensing. The psychology major at Rutgers is designed to fulfill several goals. First, of course, we teach you the content of psychology and offer a broad range of courses from which you may select. I want to highlight a few of the courses on this slide that are designed to give students a more hands-on experience than can be found in a typical lecture class. Our internship course places students at schools and community mental health facilities so that they can gain experience relevant to careers in clinical consulting and school psychology. We also offer three fieldwork courses in which students spend part of the semester working with special needs individuals, preschoolers, or children in foster care. Students interested in research can earn credits working in psychology labs run by our faculty. All of these are good opportunities to gain knowledge of what a career in psychology would be like, as well as to help augment students' resumes. Students can graduate with honors in psychology by doing a senior thesis under the guidance of one of our faculty members. In addition to the major in psychology, we offer two minor options, one of which is focused on developmental psychology. Here are some recommendations for the first semester students. If you had an advanced placement psych course in high school, you may be able to transfer it as equivalent to our introductory psychology course. If not, you should begin with general psychology as that is the gateway course. If you are certain that you're going to be a major in psychology, you might also consider taking the required psychological statistics course for the major, that that's called quantitative methods. Both general psychology and quantitative methods also satisfy School of Arts and Sciences core requirements. If you enter with credit for general psychology, then consider taking any of the core or elective psychology courses, some of which are listed here, such as abnormal psychology, social psychology, learning processes, and so forth. Most of these courses have no prerequisites other than general psychology. For more information about the department and the psychology program, please visit our website, psych.rutgers.edu. At that site, there is a set of information that's especially tailored for prospective students. That's the second address on this slide. And finally, uh, you're encouraged to sign up for the psychology advising mailing list. That will get you information that's sent out weekly and sometimes biweekly from the department about programs and events that are occurring 
within the, the psychology department. If you have other questions, please do not hesitate to contact me at advisor at psych.rutgers.edu. Thank you for your time and your interest.